Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I uh, am open to a lot of opinions, and I know a lot of people aren't. They're closed-minded. You think, oh, Chris, you're, you're closed-minded too. You're biased. Well, everybody's biased. I hate to tell you that. Uh, I have no problem publishing perspectives that do not match my own on LockerGnome.com because they're valid perspectives from the way they're looking at things, from the way you might be looking at things. So, we've got another guest blog post titled, Why Windows 8 Tablets Will Succeed. Will Succeed. Because I've stated that they can succeed, they may be able to succeed, but only if they match a certain amount of, well, let's just say expectations, including price, performance, and then usability with Windows 8. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But according to Zoo Hair, they're on LockerGnome.com, as we've linked in the story that uh, we've got in the, the video's description. You see it there? The link that's either there or there. I don't know where it is. There's a link somewhere to LockerGnome.com in the article. He notes, Windows 8 will provide a consistent experience among devices. Now, this he's 110% correct on. Absolutely. Windows 8 is going to work exactly the same on a tablet as it will on a traditional desktop or laptop computer. No matter how you're interacting with Windows 8, whether it's through a mouse, a touchpad, touch in general, like touching the screen, uh, it's going to be a consistent experience. And, you know, I, I think that's to Microsoft's credit, unifying those experiences so that it's not so strange when I move from one device to another. It, it's kind of like feeling comfortable with one you know, uh, experience and then moving on to a different type of uh, hardware experience and still feeling like I have, I'm having the same experience in software. I don't know how it's going to translate, but it is true. It's going to provide a consistent experience in general in the sense that it's going to look the same. Whether that translates in, into a user experience and a cohesive user experience, that remains to be seen. Uh, I certainly have appreciated uh, the Metro update on Xbox 360. Uh, I've, I've liked Metro and Touch experiences before. I've liked it in even standalone apps on the desktop, uh, you know, the ones that they've released uh, long before uh, Windows 8 had, had even been uh, you know, started to be uh, developed, uh, before they really realized that Metro could be a very powerful user experience. Uh, he also notes Windows 8 has a simple and elegant tablet-optimized interface. He's right. Windows 8 is pretty nice on tablets. I don't think anybody would say otherwise. It, it is, it's, it's nice. On tablet experiences. I don't think anybody's saying otherwise. But then again, is that going to be enough to allow Windows 8 tablets to succeed where Android tablets kind of did well, but not well enough to topple Apple? Does Microsoft only have to do well enough to topple Google in the tablet space uh, instead of having to worry about Apple? Is number two going to be good enough for now? We'll see. I think they've got a shot if they can keep the prices for the Windows 8 tablets in check. Microsoft has learned from mistakes made by Apple and Google. Have they? Uh, here's his art. I asked the question. I mean, it's not just rhetorical. Have they really? Uh, he notes, it's not my words, his. Uh, Microsoft has been trying to break into the tablet market for nearly a decade, and it's fair to say that it has been largely unsuccessful. Remember tablet PCs? UMPCs? Anybody? Really? Do you remember those? UMPCs. Do you even know what UMPC is short for? Maybe you do. Maybe you remember uh, this can all change as Microsoft is better prepared this time around and has seen how Apple and Google have gone about producing successful tablet devices. But has Google succeeded with tablets? I mean, if they had with Android, would they be launching their own tablet store? And I've even you know, wondered if Google is going to use Android or Chrome OS. I think if Google uses Chrome OS on a tablet, I think it'll be amazingly successful if they can keep the price point in check or in line with Amazon's Kindle Fire, which isn't truly an Android device, but it does run Android apps, and most people do consider it an Android device. Uh, not geeks. Geeks are purists. The non-geeks. You know, 99% of the galaxy. Windows 8 tablets are spec to compete. Indeed, they are spec to compete. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the hardware that, uh, you know, Microsoft has said, here's what they need to have. Uh, all the Windows 8 tablets. They could work well, but will pricing fall in line with those specs? So even if you had something specced out, if you can't get it into the iPad price range, it's going to be tremendously difficult. I don't care if the platform's awesome. I don't. I just don't. Consumers are going to look at something and say, how much does it cost? 
This is why uh, the Kindle Fire succeeded. 200 bucks! Dude, that's pretty affordable. I don't know if Microsoft's going to get into that territory, but if Microsoft can figure out a way to work with an OEM to ship a decent Windows 8 tablet experience for $500, starting, starting at $500, I think Apple would have some serious competition.